a new top cat in Brawley. Welcome back into sports, everyone. After years of roaming the sidelines as an assistant coach for the Wildcats football program, Lawrence Landy has been handed the reins to the new head coach position and is determined to bring the Wildcats back to being the premier program in the Valley. Uh, it's a very humbling experience. Although Landy has been part of the Brawley football program for nearly two decades, he still feels pressure in his new role. This community has a long history of good football, and so uh, I feel that weight on my shoulders. It's my job to continue with what uh, my predecessors have done. Landy has completely revamped the program, starting with the practice schedule. I feel like we're more organized this year, and we're all just... We're more efficient with our time during practices and getting a lot more done. People want to come to practice now, and it's just its just a great environment, just a great space to be around. The Wildcats' offense will be led by senior quarterback Matthew Gutierrez, who has taken positive strides on and off the field. Um, yeah, just me more of a running threat. I feel like a lot of teams knew I was just going to pass most of the time, so but now they know I could beat them on the, on the ground and in the air. Um, biggest change I see in Matt this year is uh, in his terms of the way he is leading the football team from a much more uh, positive uh, influence. Brawley also brings back a veteran offensive line, which will be key in unlocking the Wildcats' explosive weapons. We're going to be better this, this time than last year. We're, uh, last year we were new, but this year we're going to be, be a lot better and a lot stronger. Last season, Gutierrez and wide receiver Brandon Poras broke out as one of the best aerial duos in the San Diego section, a connection that's been built off countless hours of work. We, we try to go out almost every week to, to Soto and just put in extra work and work on the routes and the timing and all that other stuff. In this community, there is one game that can make or break a season, the Bell game, and that is something that the Wildcats have dropped in back-to-back -back seasons against their arch rivals, the Central Spartans, meaning this year's Wildcats are more determined than ever to get back on top of the Imperial Valley and of the CIF San Diego section. In this valley, it, it, that's Michigan, Ohio State, and, and we understand that, and uh, you know, we don't, we don't talk about it, but we all know it's there. We know uh, as a staff, we're expected to win that game. Very motivating, very motivating. Our team, just as a collective, like that's our goal, Bell game, and then CF Championship right after that. So we know our season's not going to end right after the Bell game, but we have bigger goals in mind, like the CF Championship. That was our own Chaz Messman reporting, by the way. The Wildcats will kick off their season at Warren Field on August 23rd against Palm Desert. Tomorrow, we'll continue our team previews with the reigning defending CIF San Diego Section Division 5 AA champion Holtville Vikings. And hey, if you've missed any of the teams we've hit on so far, you can head over to our website at kyma.com sports so you can get all caught up. A sisterly bond leading to success on the track. Cheney and Georgia Gomez out of Imperial were raised in competition, but regardless of sport, the two have helped each other grow as athletes. Now they're taking that relationship to the next level. The Gomez sisters truly have done it all. You try out for the volleyball team, so then you're like, well, why not try out for the softball team and, or the basketball team? And we did summer swim and all that. And as if that wasn't enough, the two even participate in rodeo events like barrel racing. But track and field proved to be their favorite of the bunch, with Cheney following Georgia to join the Imperial team. I was a swimmer first, and then COVID happened, and um, that really gave the opportunity for you to be able to do sports that are usually in the same time period at different times. The two went on to be Tiger legends, with Cheney winning back-to-back -back CIF shot put titles in 2022 and 23, and both winning Imperial Valley League championships in multiple events. Growing up was the whole process of trying to develop as athletes more of a collaborative process or a competitive process for you guys? Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I would have to say it was a mix of both because we definitely we had like the perfect balance of encouraging each other and also holding each other like accountable in our sports, which I think was like the best thing possible. Now, after a year for Cheney at Vanguard University in Costa Mesa, she'll be transferring to join Georgia for her freshman season with Arizona Christian University, where once again, these two will get to grow side by side.
So what's it been like to, you know, see each other grow in the sport? You guys have obviously each gone on to do, you know, your own thing. So being able to see each of you be successful, what's it been like for, you know, one or or the other? Yeah, it's been so amazing, like, especially seeing Chaney just, like, try something new. That's something I've always admired her about is just her willingness to just be brave and go try something she's never tried before. To see her as I'm in college and she's away, it really gave me that perspective to see her growing um, kind of like on the outside because I didn't see her every day. I just see her getting better, improving, and it's really it's really been an honor to be able to, to see that growth in her. This season with Arizona Christian, the girls will be on partial scholarship as Georgia will compete in the 200 and 400 meter races along with discus. While Cheney will be in heptathlons, which requires seven different events, but she says her specialty is throwing javelin, discus, and shot put. Certainly looking forward to seeing them back together. Till then, that's all the time we have for sports. We'll be right back.